I don't know about you guys, but uh, when I work in a garage, I like to have my tunes on, and I crank them pretty good, you know. But uh, <laughs> every once in a while, my one channel keeps cutting out, and it gets to be very annoying. So, uh, of course, you open it up, it went away, and then uh, it'll act up again later as soon as you walk away. So, uh, I think that may have a, a date with a soldering iron tomorrow. As you can kind of see. We no mess around. And one style. And then the other ones are... You got tunes. Sometimes. Alright. So the wife just called for dinner and uh, for takeoff for me to go pick up. Usually it's about 45 minutes. She called back says it's 12 minutes so uh, we're gonna move right along on this. The bike is uh, getting back together. Uh, of course all the, when I put the pieces on every piece now I go through and clean and finalize and Grease the bearings and take all the play out of everything and weld up whatever needs to be welded up. So the front end is complete. The crank is, the back wheel is, and the um, the chain set up. Uh, everything else, uh, the motor's bolted on. Not that it's any kind of thing. Everything else is just kind of sitting on there. The fender, the, the tire, the bat, the gas tank, just to uh, get my bearings and get a, an idea what it looks like. You guys like it? I like it. I like the black. Again, it was that shoe polish, and uh, I cleared over the top of that. And that was nice. If I have any screw ups, I can just take it apart again and uh, hit it with some shoe polish and hit a little bit of clear. <laughs> I may come back and, and uh, take like a scotch bright to some of the wrenches just so they pop a little bit more so you can kind of see them. But it's looking good. I like it. I like the three pieces of red on there being showing up the bat, the, the back fender, and the tank. I think uh, if I went to go do the bike in a copper, I think it'd, it may have made it a little too busy with a black kind of. It makes the other pieces be high, more highlighted. <laughs> One thing I, I kind of screwed up on. I'm uh, putting it back together. Everything was fine when it was before. I put the master links in and I went to go pedal it around. The master link is a little wider. So when I cut this pulley, I didn't cut it wide enough. So the master link goes and <laughs> jams right in it. So I got to pop this back off, put it on the lathe and just open it up just a little bit more. And uh, I'll probably take it and just kind of grind the end of the uh, master links just a little bit off of it. And that'll be back to normal. Made some keepers for the back to, to pull the back wheel, which is basically just a bolt welded to a washer. And then a stop on it, and then you know you run your uh, jam nut to, to hold the wheel from getting sucked forward instead of relying on the, the center there. Be better outside in the light, but you can kind of get the idea. As you move around, it kind of, you know, it changes. The different reflections from different directions. I don't know if you can... Keep my fat head out of the, the light. See what I mean? So. Alright. So tomorrow will be another day. Hopefully I can uh, continue on on it and uh, get a bunch of the stuff buttoned up so I have to make the, make the throttle and you know that kind of thing. Kill switch. Uh, clean the carb on it. Fuel line. Fuel setup. That kind of stuff. We're getting there. It's a uh, final stretch now. And uh, I had to watch out because uh, I said if I remove this tag, I would void my warranty. So I left it on. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Have a good night. Take care.